we are able to say that now is the time to open up. Now is the time to congratulate every single Victorian for staying the course. Now is the time to thank every single Victorian family for being guided by the data, the science and the doctors. Not letting our frustration get the better of us, but instead uh, proving equal to this wicked enemy. Indeed, better than this wicked enemy. I am very pleased to be able to announce that from 11.59pm, Tuesday the 27th of October, all retail will open. Restaurants, hotels, cafes and bars, they will reopen as well. Indoor, there will be a maximum of 20 people seated uh, with 10 people per space. Outdoor, a maximum of 50 people with one person per two square metres. Beauty, personal services and tattooing, provided you can wear a mask, will reopen. Uh, there will be a dark opening, that is to say, staff that are required to make the business ready for trading and importantly, it's not just good enough to be ready, you've got to be COVID safe as well, they are able to attend the workplace uh, immediately. So forthwith, they are able to uh, do that work to be ready for midnight tomorrow night. Outdoor community sport for under 18s and outdoor non-contact sport for adults will recommence as well. The four reasons to leave home will be removed. The 25 kilometre travel limit remains in place and the regional metropolitan border remains in place, but I'll come back to that in just one moment. Other major changes, outdoor gatherings remain at a maximum of 10 people. Infants under 12 months are not included in the calculation of 10 uh, and gatherings will no longer be limited to just two households. There can be more than two households, but the group cannot exceed 10. Weddings will increase to a maximum of 10 people. Funerals will increase to a maximum of 20 mourners. In terms of faith gatherings, religious gatherings, and we know how important this has been for many, many people of faith across the community. Indoor, there will be a maximum of 10 people plus one faith leader. Outdoor, there will be a maximum of 20 people plus one faith leader. Now, before I talk about the next step, which will be on the 8th of November, I just want to talk for a moment about in-home visits. These changes I'm announcing today don't come into effect until midnight tomorrow night. It's appropriate because dark opening, being COVID safe, being COVID ready, to give people notice. Particularly given that we've got those northern suburbs test back and they're all zero. They're all basically, uh, uh, they are negative. There are zero cases from that. In terms of home visits, we're going to wait until tomorrow to give people a clearer sense of what will be uh, what they'll be able to do from midnight tomorrow night. There's no need, of course, for a dark opening at home, uh, and we want to get this right. We don't want to do a bubble because we think that can be a particularly confusing set of uh, set of uh, arrangements for families. Uh, but we haven't quite settled yet, and we have to understand that all of us we have to appreciate that in many respects the most dangerous environment for the spread of this virus is in your home. When you have visitors, you let your guard down, they go back to their house, they have visitors, and all of a sudden we can have chains of transmission that spread silently and very, very quickly. So getting this right and having it as simple, obviously as uh, inclusive, as fundamentally compassionate as possible so that people can connect with the people that they love the most, the people that they are missing the most, uh, that's for tomorrow. And we'll speak to that in some detail, but it will come into effect at 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night. So there's no time lost. It's just a matter of settling those arrangements and having them as simple as they can possibly be. From 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, the 8th of November, I can confirm that the 25 kilometre travel limit will go and the Metropolitan Melbourne Regional Border will go as well. The state will be one again for the purposes of travel and movement. COVID safety will still be critical, following the rules will still be critical, but that little bit extra time means that we can align both Metropolitan Melbourne and Regional Victoria at that time. Uh, accordingly, in Melbourne, uh, gyms and fitness studios will reopen on, uh, on the 8th, uh, maximum of 20 people, maximum of 10 people per space, density of one person per eight square metres. Restaurants, hotels, cafes, bars, will then move to an indoor maximum of 40 people with 10 people per space. Outdoor, a maximum of 70 people with one person per two square metres. In line with regional Victoria and the alignment of Melbourne and regional Victoria, 
outdoors for this is for faith gatherings for religious gatherings outdoors maximum of 50 people plus one faith leader indoors maximum of 20 people plus one faith leader uh, further funerals will move indoors maximum of 20 mourners outdoors a maximum of 50 mourners uh, there'll be some changes to indoor community sport so non-contact sport for age 18 years and under uh, and sports that are capable of 1.5 metre distancing will be able to operate indoors from the 8th of November. Uh, indoor pools will also be able to be open for up to 20 people. That is a, a flavour, if you like, of all of those different changes. Each of you have got a detailed document with you. Uh, we'll do our best to answer any questions, but as is our usual practice, if you have any questions, we'll probably take those uh, and get you the precise wording so there's absolutely no uh, confusion. There is time to do that because, of course, these changes don't come into effect until midnight tomorrow night and the ones I've just read out are indeed foreshadowed for midnight on the 8th of November. On the 8th of November as well we will also be able to uh, fully explain uh, to every Victorian city and um, country what the rest of November looks like and what a COVID normal Christmas will look like. We know that that longer term roadmap is very important but we think we'll have more certainty and be able to perhaps provide more detail uh, if we just wait these next 10 days or so and then produce those, if you like, the, the, the more complete picture for the rest of the year uh, on the 8th of November, we'll have the benefit of having been open for uh, uh, those uh, 10 days or so uh, and we'll be able to complete that picture of what the rest of 2020 looks like. Fundamentally, this belongs to every single Victorian. Every single Victorian who's followed the rules, stayed the course, worked with me and my team to bring this second wave to an end. But it is not over. This virus is not going away. It is going to continue to be a feature of our lives. It is going to be a feature uh, of our lives every day until a vaccine turns up. These are big steps. We've all given a lot. I'm so proud and impressed and humbled by the contribution that so many Victorian families have made, so many Victorian businesses have made. If this is to mean something, then we have to take our COVID responsibilities to stay safe and stay open, to stay safe and stay connected. We have to take those responsibilities seriously. There cannot be bending of rules. There cannot be people on an endless search for loopholes. We are all in this together. And just as we've stayed the course, and yes, we've stayed apart, but remained fundamentally connected as a strong and united state, we have to be vigilant in the weeks and months to come. Until a vaccine comes, there's no normal. There's only COVID normal. So much has been given to build this precious thing. And all of us need to make sure that we honour it and value it and protect it in all the choices that we make every single day. I could not be prouder than I am today to lead a state that has shown the courage, the compassion and the character to get this job done. But it is not yet absolutely finished. Only a vaccine can give us the ultimate protection against this. So we need to be proud today. We need to be optimistic. We need to be confident, but we also need to be COVID safe. And I'm very confident that that's exactly what Victorians will do. I am now uh, joined by my colleagues and more than happy to take any questions you have. Can I confirm that what you're saying is, is that we can finally get back on the beers? Uh, I don't know that I'll be drinking a beer tonight. I might go a little higher up the shelf. 